the 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 party the party thing as big as the drug thing and the street thing was in your life i would say the party thing especially as, as far as the public is concerned the party thing was just as fucking big you were a huge party promoter in a major city in new york being a major party promoter in new york city even today that's that's a that's some that shit was, that's that a was big another, deal another way to watch our money so i was doing the parties and um I mean, people say nobody ever threw a party like me, but I mean, everybody's parties have room for improvement. Every every That's party right. had, but my parties was mostly I try to do mostly dress up. You know, now they're doing parties. You come as you are, but that's not my type of party. Matter of fact, we did one in two um, nineteen. Did you come to that one? We did two nineteen in um, the casino right uh, before no, they had the uh, pandemic. Uh, 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 that was uh, that uh, was uh, return they, to the uh, map. Who hit me? Uh, my cousin Tony was there, right? Yeah, Tony was there. They they hit me, but I was somewhere. I was out of pocket. Return of the Mac. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I saw everybody. D and them came. It was it was dope to see everybody together like that. Another one of our people, Mustafa. That's my dude too. Hey, I forgot Mustafa. to just give him a shout out. You know, my man Will Blast and his brother Wolf. They they cool with me too. So they always, you know, we had the big party and everybody came and you know it was a it was a flashback. Me and D caught a flashback with like how we used to do it. Yeah. Even when we went to eat, it was like, damn, this shit remind me of back in the day. Mm -hmm. But we had um Big Joe and them in there. Oh, you know, all them dudes was everybody came. It was good, a nice party and um It looked like it. I saw a lot of the video footage, man. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Danny women. was there, beautiful everybody. Women, yeah, it was it was a lot of there. smiles. And 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 I know the smiles were genuine too. And I did you know that with me? Kevin Childs. Shout out to Kev, shout out to Chris Woods. That's my little, uh, little brother, and shout out to Roper Dope. So we did a party together, and um, it came out fabulous. So we had like close to twenty five hundred people in there. Oh, that's crazy! And we support they, the the casino wanted us to do one every month, but that's when the pandemic came. Right. So everything got shut down because I was just doing it for that one time, but they wanted to do it every month. They wanted us and to that, do it every month. But you're talking about now, two thousand nineteen. Right. And. When you started the party thing back then, was the How that came about? The initial yeah, one? was that about? Was that initial? Oh, we need a way to wash the money, or was that just something that just kind of happened? Well, it was my birthday coming up, right? You know, you know, you know, a lot of these dudes out here now, this is crazy. They claim they they big time drug dealers. They had two blocks in New York. We was everywhere, all right, over the United right, States. Right, right. So we had blocks everywhere, and people. That's why it distinguishes us from different people. And and so people understand, having blocks means having a place in a city where or, or town where you have a, 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 a an area, an address, you know, where you have your drug operation, you got your crew, whatever you sell. Yeah, but we don't take pictures. We don't right. brag about it. It's something we do. And how we conquer an area, say I want to go to um, Baltimore. I find somebody in Baltimore that's cool out there, and I give him an offer he can't refuse because he's going to make crazy money with us. He ain't got to put up no money. So now, boom, they talked me into We could do a party for your birthday. I said, all right, fine. Formal, the formal joint. Yeah, that was the first one, Omni Hotel. The ballroom. Yeah, so we had Key Sweat performing and In Touch performing. So so about 2,000 people, right? Over 2,000. Yeah. And then... Um, after that, they was like, oh, because my my rule was, for, in order for me to have this party, y'all got to finish everything that's in your states. So they was like, shit, that ain't the party. So they, 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 they doubled up the, the time that they was out there and finished everything up. But anyway, make a long story short, we get back. After the party, everybody had fun, and it was like, yo, let's do this, um, Peter, let's do this once a month. It'd be a Sunday. I said, yo, you think you're slick. You're trapping me off now. <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all, we're going to do it because, you know, y'all did good on this on this, this trip with the with the drugs we sent. But, you know, DNA was like, yo, as long as they finishing everything up, you know, we might as well have something every month. I don't care, you know, because D don't, you know, he don't really like socialize like that. But he said, yeah, I'll come out every month. 
I said, all right, do you want to come out? And Nice said he want to come out. And Cool said, you know, but like I said, Cool only come out special joints. Cool's a young man, younger than us, but he's an old man mentally. Like he wants, he, 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 it wasn't his thing. He'd rather be home with the family, which is better. Smart guy. Which is better. Shout well, out to Cool. He's taking a lot of risks. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better. So you know anyway, I mean? so we, we start doing it once a month or whatever. Somebody's birthday come up. We did one for Cool's birthday, Nice birthday. New Year's Eve, you know, start, we're just picking days to throw them shits, you know. And you had, you had people performing that were hot, had people hot performing. topics. You had, you had Comedians. Mary, you, had, you, had, you had Mary J. You yeah, had, Mary J. did my birthday. You had Jodeci. Yes, Keith Sweat. Yep, Keith um, Sweat. And, and people it, was it performing was, our parties, didn't even know we was behind it. That's how, that's how crazy it was. We did, you know, we just, just had the party, have everybody promote it, and then they just come and perform. So it was, it was fun. Were there instances? I I I heard that there were instances where these people they were paying for the opportunity to perform at your, your events. No, I never did that. No, no. That would, that's, that would be. I was like, myth. that's crazy as hell. That's a myth. I I would never even put that on nobody. But you know, we paid them good money to perform. Right. And we had all the top DJs. I had I had um, Capri, who's a beast. I had. Would they would Ready they perform learn. for free? No, I paid them. I paid all the DJs. Capri. Talking about the the art the uh, the artists. Did they no, we them paid them too. We paid them. I'm not going to right. say that. That was just somebody insinuating that mm-hmm. the parties are so hot. You Peter heard it. You've heard it. it. You've heard it. You know, we all we yeah, all heard it. Nah, we paid. We paid. Well, and then um, we had um, Red Alert, Flex. What about Suge? Ace. What's Suge? What 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 Suge Knight? What um. Then he do. Then he have like a little showcase of some of his artists performing. At your, yeah, at your that show. that was Chaz. Mainly Chaz put that together. So they didn't. Um, it was always it was a problem because it wasn't it wasn't Snoop Dogg's and, and um, Dr. Dre's fault. But under the clause, they were supposed to um, perform by one o'clock. So what happened? Um, I couldn't even get in in the beginning. It was so crowded out there. That was Chaz's first big event he threw out there, so he did it. He did it. He did it good because he he put, I think, thirty five hundred four thousand people in there. But what he his, his, he had a secure team out there with Rockwallers, so niggas getting bit and everything. So I was like, yeah. I said, <laughs> no, yeah. literally, niggas, he they literally had Rockwallers. Yeah, out there? I, I, it's hard for me to get in. Niggas was scared. Of, it was crazy. But when I finally got in, and shout out to my man Rufus and them. Um, I um, you know, we had paid this man forty. It was forty thousand for them niggas to perform at the time, so they had tried to leave, and they was like, they don't want to pay. I mean, they don't. They they not performing because the clause said they supposed to perform early. It's like three or four in the morning now, so we had to go to them, cut them off, and you know, had to talk to them, and you know, they. What was that conversation like? Well, they were staying. They ain't gonna perform. And what were so, you Knight had, you know, they had to get Shug Knight on the phone, and I, it was going back and forth. So the phone was grabbed and said, yo, if they don't perform, you ain't going to see your artists no more. You're going to need new artists. So they perform. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to make it out of New York. Yeah, they, they're not going to, they perform. So after that, you know, you know, it was like, um, that's how we became cool with Shug Knight. And that's how he wanted us to do the East Coast Death Row. See, they had the assumption that, See, in the West Coast, the strength, the um, the vapors, some of them was real gangsters. But in the East Coast, our vapors was vapors, like he was talking about the vapors earlier. Mm-hmm. And the, the thing that was, was so West Coast thought that the East Coast was soft because our vapors was representing us. So they 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 barking on our vap our vapors and stuff. Thinking and, that they they contending with real and they not they not they wasn't the real dudes <laughs> they was the ones that copy everything we was doing and stuff at that time. So That's right. when he when he got with D and Prem and me and um Chaz and the rest of us, you know, the real dudes, then you know, they kind of realized that we are not them. We a whole different breed, and we get busy. So we came to a mutual you know thing where um. Eric B and um, 
like the MCM was involved. They was trying to get get the East Coast thing done, and Big D was you know really orchestrating that with the um, the uh, Death Row East yeah. situation. Yeah, Big D was or- orchestrating that, but you know he was keeping me updated. Cause I said, all of us don't need to be there. You know, you run it. You run this shit. This is your show. So D D, you know D, D's very good when it comes to getting a deal done. So he um. He had the shit orchestrated, but then I went to jail. Shook Knight went to jail, and shit. Everything fell through. Yeah. So that was that was it. Um, Shook Knight talk- talks to us now. He talks to D. Yeah. I, I, Shout I, out to Shook Knight. I haven't. Uh, I haven't seen Shook or had any communication, direct communication with him since uh, since Meech was home. Meech came home. No, when Me- when Meech was home. Oh, I before, thought you said Meech, because I never Meech heard it. I didn't hear he came on. But um, I never met Meech either, though. Yeah, your, your paths uh, uh, yeah. didn't intersect. Yeah. It was only a small window. Um, So we were talking earlier about Keith Sweat, and, uh, you, know, you know, there was an incident that occurred that we were talking about earlier um, with the, uh, a certain individual that most people would, would know the name of, um, street cat who had a tendency to um, go real hard about abroad. You know, you were talking about, you know, having uh, rules within the crew where it's like, okay, my girl is off limits, but any other girl that I might be interacting with, I mean, sh- shoot your shot. If you hit your, if you hit your mark, you hit your mark. But this dude was, uh, he was kind of taking a lot of broads like, you know, as his broad, you know what I mean? And so Keith uh, shot a shot at, at the broad, right? At the rucker. And then dude turns around and smacks Keith at the, uh, at the rucker. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure which girl it was. You know, Alpo, that's Alpo. And Alpo was younger than us. You know, he was, he was closer to D than me, but we was all right and, um, at the time. And um, um, I got a call on my man, and he was like, yo, some dude just slapped, slapped Keith. I said, who? So I don't really know his name. So I said, I made a couple of calls. They said, yo, the kid Alpo slapped him. I said, where Alpo at now? And he told me, and I went down there, and I, I stepped to him, and I told him, yo, don't, don't touch Keith. He's off limits. And he said, all right. You know, he went with, you know, because... I don't talk about nobody bad, especially when they dead. And the rat thing, I'm not going to bring up about him because, you know, it's out there. It was always out there. And, you know, like I said, I don't like talking about rats unless I'm going to talk about all of them. But before he became that, he was cool with us. It's mm-hmm. nothing, you know. Yeah. D, he was real close to D because, you know, D, <laughs> D's like the mayor. Everybody, yeah. everybody goes through D to talk to us because D is like, He's the he's the he's the one of the most dangerous, but he's the most humblest too. So I, that's how you you have to describe him. Yeah. But he is he's such a good dude. But he's a businessman, so he draws a lot of attention. And even when we used to go to these parties, you know, after the party, he got about thirty forty people coming to breakfast. Was I don't know none of these motherfuckers. He talking about, and you know, I said all right, cool. But then when the check come, me and him got split the check. Yep. I was like, yo, hold up, man. I don't even know these people. He said, hey, you know, this is this. We do this all the time. You yep. know, so he had me spending money recklessly. So anyway, <laughs> so I, I hollered at Poe and I told him what's up. I said, yo, you know, he said he understood. And then so people might take it, you know, that he was scared. And he wasn't scared. He just that he respected us. Because he understood. He understood, he understood the game. Worked. And he know, he know, you know, he know how big we was. See. And he ain't with no problems with us. And, you know, I just went I just went there because I didn't want Keith to get slapped again. But he, you know, but my thing is this, it, it, it really is my man artist. So I was like, you know, just doing a favor. But yeah, that happened. And and Demencio. Demencio was also cat Demencio did parties, right? 
Um, like he, he might have a special did, party, but right? He's not right. A party his the his thing was the fashion. I remember yeah. we went to do the fashion. With Miguel, show. he was fucking with Miguel and yeah. thing. And um, uh, again, over a girl, uh, out of his own mouth, uh, Alpo killed him over a girl. Well, that was um. The mess you used to mess with the girl before Alpo, right? So I don't know if people knew that and. Demencio, Demencio slept, and he wasn't supposed to sleep. He Alpo and talked to him on the phone, said everything's good, nothing's no problem. And Demencio, Demencio didn't have his, his, his soldiers with him at the game in D.C. I can't understand that part, and that's how he got set, trapped off. You know, and you, you all know who did that. And um, after that, Poe was trying to, shoot up to New York so nobody know that he had something to do with it, but everybody found out he had something to do with that shit. So mm -hmm. yeah, then, that's why that's why he admitted it. Then they was, everybody knew. Then it was on and popping for him, but you know um, he was supposed to be got at the Rucker game, but he sensed it. I think he had a gold electric coupe at the time. He sensed the drop the tent Yeah he the gold, sensed the, the gold it was no a sedan, the gold legend sedan. That's what it was. I know. Because yeah, he tried to, to sell it to me. Lexus. It was a Lexus. Right? Oh, the Lexus Coupe. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's yes, what yes, he was yes, in, the Lexus right. Coupe. So what he tried to do. He I did mean, try when, to sell when, the gold legend, though. It was nice. It was set up for him to get it the same way he got Demencio. He sensed it and he broke out. So nobody never seen him again. Then he got arrested. So right after that, but, you know, it's, it's shit happens, you know, and then. I went to Demencio's funeral and we had, we had to wear wigs and everything go to Demencio's funeral because um, all the majors, Agent Cologne and all them, yeah. they all was outside. Did you ever come into contact with, go ahead and finish what you're saying. With Cologne? Yeah. Yeah, she came, right after I got arrested, she came down there. She said, we finally got you. I enjoyed your parties. She ain't know, she was never at a party that fat pieces. Yeah, she wasn't at my parties, and well, I, 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 I've told people how she was pulling cats out their cars, yeah, taking their shit, taking she, their cars from them. She pulled yeah, me. Tell your grandma to come down and get this seventy five thousand dollars BMW she got on the social yeah, security. She's a piece of shit. I hope she hope she something happened to her too. 